Listen. People don't like you. They really don't. But you got to know that there is a reason why they don't like you, right? There is something about you that rubs them the wrong way. Even though sometimes they pretend like they do like you. They pretend like they do like love you. They pretend like there is nothing wrong. And secretly, underhandedly, behind your back, they don't like you. And you can't understand why. You haven't done nothing to nobody. You haven't said nothing to nobody. You haven't treated anybody badly. But it's something and there's a reason why they don't like you. Every time you come in a room, make your presence known. Not even announcing that you're walking in the room. You just walk in the room and their whole facial expressions changes. Or if you walk into a group of people, they walk out the group and they walk away. And sometimes you don't even know the individual that well, but they don't like you. And a lot of times, the reason why they don't like you is because somebody you know don't like you. You all may have had some words. You all may have a misunderstanding or something may have transpired. And because the other person don't like you, they don't like you, which I can't understand how that works. What do your friend, your family member, your co-workers, my you dating married, has something to do with you not liking a person? It was not your experience. It was their experience. So why do you jump on a bandwagon and you don't like the person? Make it make sense. Other times, people don't like you because they're jealous. They're jealous. That's why they don't like you. They're jealous of how you move, how you grown, how you evolve. And even though your successes was not overnight, even though your accomplishments were not overnight, they don't care. They don't like that you're not stuck where they're stuck anymore. So they don't like you. And they make it known. They don't tell you they don't like you, but they do tell everybody else, everybody that's listening, every person that picks up the phone, every person asking the text message, they let them know that they don't like you. Oh, they think they all of this because they own property or they got their PhD or they have their masters or they got a new job making six figures or they got married or they was able to have a baby or they started a business. Why are you hating? Why? Because everything somebody else has achieved, you have the same opportunity to achieve it as well. And then you got to ask yourself, is it really about the person or is it about yourself? The reason why you can't feel my shine. You can't ride with my glow. You can't hang with my smile. You can't deal with my joy. <laughs> You can't deal with none of that. So I'm thinking that you need to know maybe it ain't all about you because they don't like you. It's got a lot to do with their lacking in themselves. Mm -hmm. See, they see something in you that they don't possess. They see something that in you that they wish that they had. They see something in you that they didn't have the guts to strive to achieve. So that's why they don't like you. And point blank period. You should not even care. Whether they like you or not. Because your accomplishments. Are your accomplishments. And whatever you grown. Or whatever you achieve. Or whatever you arrive to. Nobody gets the benefits out of that. Except for you. So like you or not. It's okay. That is other people's personal problem. It's not yours. So don't feel bad. Don't let it move you. Don't let it make you feel a certain type of way because they don't like you. They didn't like Jesus, some people. A lot of people was on the bandwagon say crucify him as they are on the bandwagon say crucify you. 
in different areas and different ways of your life. See, people will skin and grin in your face and they mean you no good because simply they just don't like you. And all the time, it's not about your achievements. Sometimes it's about the way you carry yourself. Sometimes it's about the way that you draw people in. It is your personality, your kind-heartedness, your easygoing, your friendly personality that they don't like because they don't possess those things. Instead of them drawing people, they repel people. And that's why they don't like you. And the people, sometimes they have been trying to get into the circle of liking them. They've done everything they could and the person still don't like them, neither will they accept them. And here you come along and walk right in with your beautiful, bright, intelligent, lovely, kind, sweet soul of a self. And they just suck you up like a biscuit and gravy. And they're mad. So... They don't like you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not the first time. It's not going to be the last. So if they don't like you, it's their problem and not yours. But whatever it is, don't let them ever, never change you who you are. Always be your authentic self. Never let anyone change you and make you something that you're not because somebody don't like you. And that's a personal problem has nothing to do with you. And you cannot please everybody. So no matter what you do, what you say, where you go, uh, whatever it may be, when people don't like you, they just don't. And sometimes they just don't have a reason. They just don't like you for who you are. Could be your size, could be the color of your skin. It could be a variety of reasons. They just don't like you. And you need to be okay with that. Don't let it worry you. And definitely don't let it weigh you down. Hey, those who meant to be in your circle will be there. Those who meant to be your friends, your family, somebody you're dating and married to will be there. They will accept you for who you are, the good, the bad, and the ugly. They won't even care because you are you. So say, who cares? You don't like me? Okay, thank you. Going on with life. It is what it is. That's where you got to see it. Can't let it weigh you down. Can't let it worry you. Can't let you let it make you feel uneasy. And remember, some people didn't like Jesus, but he still went on and did the things that he needed to do. Life goes on even when they don't like you.